I'll start this 18 by 36 inch stretch canvas. I painted a lizard and crimson and paint thinner, real thin, for the underpainting. And I drew it out in pencil. I'm not sure if you can see that. I'll take a picture of it and uh, get a little bit better lines for you to see how I started that. All right, I put in my sky, kind of a subtle sky. There's going to be a lot of action in the water with the waves breaking and the shore lines, outside wave. So you've got to have a little place to rest your eyes. You don't want to have too dramatic of a sky and have a dramatic waves breaking and such. You can get too much activity going on at once and your viewer won't know where to put their eyes. They'll be bouncing all over the canvas. All right, I worked on the horizon, kind of blended it in with the back of the sky so it's kind of fuzzy back there. And then worked on that back wave. It's just starting to form and breaking a little bit on the left side and then a little bit to the right. So you have to make the water before the big wave. You have to realize that that second wave is churning the water up there so you've got to change that water a little bit make it lighter make it look uh, add a little bit of green in there so it looks like it's uh, churned up water all right now i'm going to start on the main wave and put in some of the rocks the outside rocks there that the wave is going to break on All right, I kind of put in that last big wave about to break on shore. The hardest part for me is always trying to get that foam right when it breaks on the rock. You know, work at it, work at it, work at it, and it never seems like you're satisfied. And sometimes you just have to say, that's it. Okay, so let's finish this off. All right, I finished this one up. Did the best I could. Hope you like it.